A lot of restaurants love to throw around the term New York style deli. In Atlanta, forget about it. Well, I found the real deal. Located in the heart of Emory Village, corned beef and pastrami that's unrivaled, and matzo ball soup, bagels, and massive desserts that'll break your heart. Let's hang at the General Muir. The General Muir is a modern American restaurant, and at its core is the Jewish deli. The background story of the General Muir is very meaningful to its owners. Jennifer Johnson, one of my partners, her mother and her grandparents came over on a U.S. refugee ship in 1949 uh, as Holocaust survivors. That U.S. refugee ship was the General Muir. What we like to think is the General Muir is about remembering the past, but also looking forward to the future. Tell me about what, how much respect you think uh, they have here for the design and the food and everything else when you come in a place like this. It, this is like going to grandma's kitchen. Uh, the chopped liver tastes just like grandma made it when you put it in the grinder. Yeah. The breads are all home cooked daily. The crust just is crispy when you bite into it. The pickles, like when it comes from the barrel. Wait, are you one of these guys where I've got to try everything and I don't want to have to make decisions? Well, this is only my second time here, so right. normally I wouldn't make a spectacle of myself right. like this. Or yeah, I do yeah. normally, but right. you, you, in different not ways. Not in broad daylight. Right. Field, <laughs> yeah. I love me a good laffa. This is our chicken breakfast laffa we're going to make right now. It's available at breakfast and brunch. Laffa basically is a Jewish burrito. So we make the laffas here. Uh, it's made with a dough that's slightly sweetened. It's not that much different than a flour tortilla. Uh, it's just a little bit thicker, more like a non style bread. What we have here is some chicken breasts, lentils, some red peppers, caramelized onions, charred eggplant puree, otherwise known as baba ganoush. So we're gonna put it right underneath the broiler, kind of make it uh, warm from the top down. So we're gonna take the uh, laffa right here, we're gonna put it on our cutting board, we're gonna take a little. Uh, Fresh Greek style yogurt, put that on there. Our harissa sauce. Some fresh cilantro. And here we go. Right on there like that. And we're gonna go ahead and roll this laffa up right now. We're gonna make a sunny side of egg that's gonna top the laffa. Some of the components that are making this dish offer different types of flavor profiles. You have the sweetness from the red peppers. You have a little bit of heat from the harissa sauce. To finish it off, we're gonna go ahead and just take the uh, sunny side egg, just like so. And then you have our breakfast laffa. What do they do right here? Um, just everything being fresh and homemade and unique, not yeah. your standard cookie cutter type of deli. And that's what I like about the general here. Trust me, the latkes here do not disappoint. This is our fish and potatoes. We're gonna make some homemade lockies here. We're gonna take some clarified butter, throw it right on the griddle. And we're just gonna take some potatoes, have them seasoned with a little bit of egg, some onions, some flour. Sour cream is typically a very traditional accompaniment for lockies. And also some little apple sauce. Usually it's one or the other. But with this dish, they both go so well with it. We're then gonna top it with some smoked salmon, our Nova. We're gonna be pretty generous with that. We're just gonna lay that arugula around top. We're gonna take a drain smith apple, and that's gonna be the finishing touch for our fish and potatoes at the General Mirror. It's a it's real beautiful dish, two lockies, and then you get the uh, eggs over top, and the smoked salmon, a little arugula, apple, and lemon juice. So this is what we're gonna do. You guys go through as much as you can. <laughs> just wave your arm. I'll come and I'll, I'll, okay. I'll be the closer. <laughs> All, right. All right? I'll just finish up. I'll just mop up. All right? Excellent. When we come back, it's my favorite sandwich on the planet. We head to the kitchen to make a Reuben with Chef Todd at the General Muir. Atlanta Eats is back. It doesn't get any better than this. Chef Todd Ginsburg at the General Muir. I mean, look, there are a lot of wonderful things in life, but the, the, the perfect Reuben sandwich I mean, there really is nothing better, and this is the place to do it, right? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, these are, this is this is what makes up something heavenly right there, those ingredients. Gruyere cheese, homemade sauerkraut, and uh, house brine corned beef. Now, uh, let me ask you, what percentage of folks coming through here are thinking about that Reuben sandwich? What, is, that, is that the most 
Oh, yeah. Ordered item. Number There's one. Ne- number one or number two seller. You know what Ben Franklin once said many years ago? You're a New England guy, right? I am. There's never a bad time for a Reuben. Said that many years ago. I remember that. Yeah, talk for a second to me about what, what separates your meats from everybody else's. So we're getting brisket in. We're gonna brine it for 10 to 12 days. We're gonna boil it for a few hours. We're gonna, we can also steam it, and we're gonna hand cut it after it cools down. How do people screw up the Reuben, if they, even if they have great meat? Well, they can do it a few different ways. A bad sauerkraut. Yeah. Bad Russian. Yeah. Bad rye. I dated a bad Russian <laughs> in college. She almost ruined my life. I swear. Oh, you mean the dressing? I mean the I mean the dressing. Oh, do you look at every Reuben as it leaves the kitchen? Or... I sure do. All right, so let's get to work here. This is fresh double baked rye. Yeah. We get from Alon's Bakery. Okay, Alon's. Outstanding right. Atlanta bakery. A little Russian. Yep. And now you ask. So you're from up north. I say Russian down here. Russian, Thousand Island dressing, right? That's it. A couple of Boston guys, we know we, we call it Russian. So now we're loading it up. Corned beef's been steaming. One half of the Reuben has been uh, taken off the grill. And how long are we, how long are we cooking in there for? Uh, what did we put in there, five seconds ago? Yeah. All right, there it is. Wow, perfect. So this is done. Gonna put it on there. Oh, man. Look at perfectly grilled. It's got a perfectly nice toasted. crunch. Still yeah. soft oh. on the inside. Oh, that's a great sound. And on the eighth day, God created the Genio Muir Reuben. A little bit of that. Thank you very much. He's the man. Talk to me about what makes a great deli, like the standards, what's most important? The Reuben is incredibly key, which is what I ate today. Right. And, um, you know, I feel like the classic matzo ball soup. One of the greatest pleasures I get is serving people with matzo ball soup that has never had matzo ball soup before. They love it. They love the uh, texture of it, they love the broth. It's something that they've had a million times, they just didn't know they had it. I've died and went to heaven in the old days. So this is it, this is like nirvana for you. This is the only place in Atlanta like this. 